Hello everyone, Bliss here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a great group on Roblox that looks very professional and very appealing. So if this video is helpful to you at any point, hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. All right, let's get into it. So once you're over on the Roblox webpage right here, what you're going to want to do is go to the side tab and click on groups. Once that page opens, it should look something like this. Now you're not going to see all the groups that I'm in and you're not going to see Bliss fan group at the top, but you might see something or maybe you don't. Now, once you're on this page right here what you're going to want to do is go click on create group right there now you only have to do this if you don't already have a group but if you don't you're going to want to click that button you're now going to want to title it whatever for this i'm just going to title it uh i don't even know youtuber video studios or something now we're not going to focus on anything else right now but we do have to insert an icon just so that the group actually works so i'm just going to go ahead and insert this one right there and buy it for a hundred robux now i know a hundred robux is kind of expensive for a group but you know what it is what you're gonna have to pay there's really no way to get around it if you want a clean fresh group you are gonna have to spend a hundred robux so there we go i just bought the group right there and now it has loaded up and it is called youtuber video studios like i said it to be now you can name your group whatever you want it doesn't really matter what you name it but make sure it's not too long or too short and make sure it's something creative obviously youtuber video studios really isn't a good name for anything because it's not really memorable at all but if you have a group maybe called I don't know lobster studios it might be a little bit more interesting than youtuber video studios so the next thing you're going to want to actually do here is go over to the three dots and click a configure group this will basically be the settings tab of your group right here and it's going to be how you manage everything so the first thing i'm going to talk about is the emblem aka the icon for the group what you're most likely going to want to do if you're trying to create a professional group is you're going to want to get an icon made by someone who is talented in art and like gfx and something like that someone that i would recommend is harrier gfx i've worked with him before his commissions are pretty Pretty decently priced and you can get a really good art piece from him he actually made me this thing for a game that I was making and it looks really really good and I believe I paid like 400 or 500 robux for it which is really really cheap actually for something like this so yeah I'll go leave his Twitter link in the description if you do want to contact him but if you don't want to go through him there's definitely some other people that you can use and maybe you can make an icon for yourself that's a little bit different than like a GFX thing but I mean I think that just makes the group look really good next up is gonna be the description part of your group and this can be really really important for new members looking at your group a really good example of a good description is this thing right here by outlander studios the description is super simple it says welcome to outlander studios it has a really brief description right here talking about what the group is about and honestly it could be even shorter right under here it says be sure to join the group for in-game benefits which means that if you join the group apparently you get stuff in his games which he somehow coded I don't know how to do that but it's just something that he adds to his group to maybe a appeal to people if you want to really entice people you might want to add some emojis to your description because it really makes it pop out and stand out a little bit more if i want to make a description it'd probably look a little bit something like this where it says just welcome to the group best games on roblox join for a good time and i put the best games on roblox part because i am a studio aka a group creating games so yeah it doesn't have to look exactly like this but this is just something that it could possibly look like now the last thing right here is change owner but if you want to be the owner of the group the entire time you don't have to worry about that button now before you leave this page make sure you click save on everything that you did change and wait for it to say successfully updated group description or icon now next up we have the settings right here now this is pretty simple you could either set it to manually approve where you have to manually input everyone into the group which I mean if you have a private group with friends maybe you want to do that but if you have a public group like a big group you're trying to expand definitely don't have that on if you have to accept people into a group they might not want to actually join because then they have to wait to get into the group which really is no fun for them next up is group funds visible i would leave that off if i was you because you don't really want people knowing how much robux you do have in the group because i really don't think that's too necessary for people to know we have group games are visible on the group homepage. definitely turn that on if you want people to see the game Games that you have created through the group if you don't know how to create games in a group what you're gonna want to do is click on the little create thing at the top go over to group creations and then go open the group that you want to make it out of 
and then just click on create new game and go from there. But yeah, if you're creating games for your group, you're definitely going to want to have that turned on. And then the last thing is allow enemy declarations. If you're a war group or something, you're probably going to want that turned on. But for any other group, there's really no point. With that turned on, it just means that you can have sort of enemies or whatever of different groups. But I mean, I don't know why you would ever need that because that really shouldn't be a main focus for your group. All right, next on the list is going to be social links. And these are actually really, really great because you can have Facebook link, Twitter link, YouTube link, Twitch link, and a Discord link. The primary ones that people use are Twitter, YouTube, and Discord. And a lot of people have a Discord for the game studio typically, or even just their normal Roblox group, whatever that may be. You could have a YouTube channel promoting your YouTube channel on your group, and you could even put your Twitter if you wanted to, or you could have a Twitter for your group or whatever you are promoting on your group. So yeah, social links are really cool, and I'm glad they added these because they're really beneficial. Okay, next up, we're gonna be tackling the revenue tab right here. So first up, we have this summary where it shows you all of the summary for or your actual group. You can check the summary by day, by week, by month, and by year. So I mean, it's all pretty self-explanatory. You have sale of goods, how much you made, pending Robux, how much Robux is pending, which will be probably delivered into your group in three to seven days. You have how much money you actually paid out from the group. And then you have group premium payouts, which I don't really know how those work exactly yet. That's kind of new, but I think that relates to how much people have uh, maybe got from people joining their game from premium i don't really know i don't know exactly how group premium payouts work but i mean we can figure that out later the next tab of revenue is sales and you're not going to see anything unless you have sold stuff so that could be maybe shirts that you've sold in the group that could be game passes that you sold from your games it could be anything that has been sold from this group and then finally you have the payouts tab which is actually pretty easy to use now basically you can either have a recurring payout or you can have a one-time payout. Recurring would be if I wanted to pay myself out, BlissYT. If I wanted to pay myself a percentage, I could just type in the percentage like that and then click save. So I don't actually know how often it does pay out exactly because I've never really used this, but I'm assuming it's probably maybe every week or every month. I don't really know. Now, the last thing here is one time payout, which is really easy, but I can't actually show you it here. So I got to go to my other group that actually does have funds in it. So one time payouts work like this, where you just have it set on amount right there. And then you're going to want to put on the payout recipient for me. It's just going to be bliss YT, just like that. And then all you have to do is punch in how much Robux from the funds you actually want to send out and it will show you how much you'll have left. So if I click distribute, I will just refresh the page here and I will have 50 more Robux instantly delivered to my account. So that is very easy. Now, next up, you have the members tab, which will just show you everyone in the group. You can sort it by roles, which we'll talk about next. You can look at all the members or you can just go by role just like this to see each individual role. All right, now we can talk about roles because there's actually a lot of stuff to see here. So every time you make a group, it starts out with owner, admin, and member, and then guest, which isn't really a role. So the member is just basically the basic person of the group. You can't really do much. And then you have the admin, which is the next tier up from the member. And then you have the owner, which is you. Now you can change these to whatever you want. And you can change the description to whatever you want. But for the video, I'm just going to leave it how it is. Now you can also actually go ahead and create roles, which cost 25 Robux. And then you can set the rank on them, which sort of works like this. So if the admin right now is 254, and let's just say that I want to make a role above the admin actually. So what I'm going to do is move this down to 253 since it is capped at 255 and the owner is at 255. So if I set that to 253 and then I check that the owner is on 255, what I can do here is make one that's 254, make the name to, I don't know, developer, I guess, and then click purchase there. Now that will be above the other person and will show it above in the group. And I also forgot to mention that all these roles have a set of starting commands that they can actually use in the group. And as you can see, there's just a few things here that they can do, but we're going to go ahead and look through all those. The reason there is a guest role in the group is because you can change two settings for people that are just looking at your group that aren't in the group. You can make sure if you want them to see the view group wall or view group shout. I'll talk about what those things are just in a little bit. So if we look down through these things, you have posts, aka view group wall. You're going to want to turn that on probably for everyone unless you don't want that on your group which i'll 
tell you what that is in a little bit like I said post on group wall delete group wall posts you might want to have that for admins or something if you do have the group wall available view group shout should be on for everyone and post group shout should be on for maybe just you or maybe some people that you work with that want to announce stuff to the group next you have manage lower ranked member ranks which you could turn on for maybe an admin so then they can manage the rank of member or manage the ranks of everyone below them except join request doesn't really matter if you don't have the join request thing on but you could turn that on for people that you do want to facilitate that if you do have join request on kick lower rank members you can turn that on but that's a little bit risky only give that to people you fully trust because you don't just want someone kicking everyone just because they have a higher rank than someone manage allies and enemies you can go ahead and turn that on if you want managing allies and enemies really isn't that important unless you are like a war group or something but i mean you could turn it on if you wanted to and then viewing the audit log is just viewing like people sending and receiving robux sort of in the group so you could turn that on if you would like to i think audit log might also do other stuff like show you if someone's changed something in the group so yeah all right finally we have send group funds honestly you should just leave that on just for yourself because really no one else should have power to that if you want to keep the group safe advertise the group you could turn on for someone that you want to advertise the group by sending out ads create group items would just be like creating new games shirts whatever for the group so you could turn that on for your developer obviously configure group items you could turn that on if someone just wants to edit a group item like how much it costs or something and then finally create an edit group game so actually the items and games are a little bit different so I mixed that up so yeah that is it for the settings in the group for the roles so if you want to go ahead and mess around with that you definitely can go do that but the affiliates you have your enemies and your allies now I have enemies turned off but you can and go ahead and send an ally request to other groups so if i wanted to i could send one to uh my fan group and then they could go ahead and accept it but i mean I don't really want to do that it's really not that important to have allies you can also see the request from people that want to ally with you and then at the very bottom you have the audit log which is actually what i thought it was where you can see what people have done to change the group and everything you can sort by everything or you can just sort by what actually happened now one of the last things i do want to talk about is going to be the store right here if you click on the store this thing will pop up if you don't have anything called create or manage group items which is just going to be kind of like creating shirts creating t-shirts and creating pants but when you do open this you can see that it was the page that we were at earlier where you can create a game a place a model a decal a badge a game pass an audio an animation a mesh a user ad, a sponsored game or just really anything you can do on roblox now i also forgot to mention what a group shout is it's basically just an announcement that you can do in the group which will appear like this and it says enter your shout if you are someone who has access to the shouting thing i'm just gonna say hi but you should probably make it a little bit more professional if you have a bigger group and you want to make the group look professional as well once the shout is out it will look like that but when you send another shout out if i say hi two or something like that it is gonna block the other one so I can say Joe now and that high two will go away. And for the very last thing I'm going to talk about is the wall, which I did say I would talk about, which is basically where people can leave comments on the group or just talk about stuff. So this actually won't erase if you add more stuff. It's kind of like adding a form post. For some reason it wants me to verify. So I guess I have to do this quick. All done. So yeah, I said Joe and I could go ahead and say uh, blah, blah, boo. No, I don't know. I just say blah, blah. I don't know wants me to verify again what is going on but yeah then it won't show up as another one on top of it it will just show up as another one so this can actually really turn into scams eventually if you don't really manage it well so honestly i would just say close the group wall if it gets bad or just limit it to certain people so yep that is going to be the end of the video if this was helpful hit that like and subscribe button i would really appreciate it and i will see you all in the next one peace out